Good evening, Mitch Control. Tonight, uh, it's amazing actually how quickly things are changing now. Uh, this weekend, when we were putting the, the cover up on the building, we had uh, beautiful days, 60, 60 Fahrenheit during the day, and uh, somewhere right in the 40 Fahrenheit range at night. Uh, just got home from work, it's about 6.30 p.m., and it is already 34 degrees Fahrenheit. So what is that like? Uh, two degrees, one degree Celsius. Uh, just so fast. There's a huge windstorm that came in last night, blew out the warm weather, obviously it changed the front. Now we have a cold front coming in. And believe it or not, they are actually forecasting snow uh, for potentially this weekend. And it's somewhere in the 30 to 50% chance range. But uh, that's about a week ahead of schedule, almost two weeks ahead of schedule from last year if it does happen. So, uh, we got the new skin on, it's beautiful. I can actually see the moon uh, coming through uh, the new clear section, it's pretty neat. Uh, tonight what I'm gonna try to do is get the west end, uh, get it sealed up with some plastic and some clamps. Let me show you the clamps here. So we're gonna be using uh, big poly, six mil poly, uh, to go up on the wall to seal it. Uh, because we got to seal it uh, on the ends so that weather can't come in and get the batten insulation wet. Uh, and that the ends are where we have the most kind of open spots. We've got the big door, you got seams from the end. So we got to get that all tightened, or uh, yeah, tightened up uh, with some poly. And we're going to use these clamps. They just click on right over uh, the steel beams that are there and hold the plastic in place. So. Uh, I think this should work out pretty well. I got a 20 foot by 100 foot roll of uh, 6 mil poly. I'm going to have to roll out 40 feet of it, cut it, and then uh, start working on putting it up. Should be kind of interesting to watch. Uh, not really sure how I'm going to do it all yet, but we'll figure it out when we get there. So let's go ahead and get started. So I got it tacked on the bottom and kind of leveled to the floor. Now I think the right thing to do is go all the way up to the top and then work my way out. I've never done this before. I'm doing the west side of the building first because it's the easiest one to do and like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. But here, check this out. Look at how, how much air this is already capturing. I'll try to show, demonstrate it. Here we go, get it out. Look at that. And it's blowing in from underneath. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling it down and I'm shoving it underneath the flooring. So the flooring is weighting it down. Now look at that. That's gonna work. So then the insulation goes on the outside of this. It actually will hang down so it'll press against this as well. But boy, you can see how much draft has been coming in the building here. And then it's going out that side. So if I get this side capped and then go to the other side and get it done, it should have a significant reduction in heat loss. But in engineering, you get no free lunch, as they say. By capping off the ends, this building will become uh, much more airtight, which means we'll now have to uh, circulate the air out of the building, which if you've been with us from the beginning is something I didn't want to have to do. So uh, the reason you have to do that, twofold. One, CO2. As the plants grow, they release oxygen, they consume CO2, and if you have a low amount of CO2, the plants won't go well, so you need to grow well, so you need to rotate in new air. Two, and more importantly, 
uh, I would suggest is the air in here will get filled with lots of uh, water, become very humid. And at night, as it gets cool in here, that humidity will turn into condensation. And eventually you just reach a saturation point where no matter what the temperature, uh, you're gonna get a uh, condensation on things. It'd be like a rainforest, if you will. So uh, in order to deal with that, you'll evacuate air as well, get rid of the high humidity air, and bring in nice, fresh, uh, dry air, drier air for where we live. So, uh, yeah, no free lunch. By sealing this up, we'll help with heat loss, but by sealing it up, we'll increase humidity and condensation, uh, which can lead to mold and mildew and all sorts of problems, uh, big yuck type of stuff. So, uh, this is coming along nicely. I need to get back to it. All right, well, I'm really happy with how it went up. Let me show you real fast. Going mobile. There we go. All of it is sealed up. Still can see a little air poof right here. See that? Ooh, fills up good. So we're keeping the air from moving. Well, we're keeping air from moving in the wrong direction, so that's a good thing. Uh, I want to get some magnets. I had some from last year. I can't find them, but I'm going to get some magnets and help uh, really pin down that bubble so it can't just blow out if a big wind gust comes in. I'm not too worried about wind gusts, and I'll tell you the reason why, and that is because this is just a, a seal that I'm then going to put the insulation against and I'm gonna pin, I'm actually gonna uh, use metal screws and we're actually gonna push all the insulation against this. So the reason we did this is last year, uh, well, basically the doors, the big doors, they're just not sealed very well. You saw me do the Velcro thing. Uh, the Velcro uh, glue did not hold. Uh, it held when I first put it on, but then it got cold that night and it just popped off when the wind blew. It just got uh, too brittle, I guess. The glue needed to stay warmer longer. So if I would have done it on a warm day, I think I would have been okay, but there might be some Gorilla Tape in my future to kind of seal those back up again. I don't know, I'll see what, what do you guys think? I think Gorilla, gorilla Tape would actually do it. Uh, put a little bit of tape on the back of the Velcro and push it all together. I don't know. In the end, it may not even matter. Uh, but I would like to get it sealed just because that would make you feel better, you know, stuff's not coming in the building. So this will keep the moisture out. Uh, last year we had snow blowing around the inside of that flap from the uh, giant door. You could also get snow coming in from the seam of the building. Uh, so this plastic is going to help keep that all out. Uh, you can already tell that there's a lot less uh, cold air movement on this side of the building uh, since we got this all sealed in. So really happy with that. Uh, it turned out nice. So, uh, the other side of the building is a lot harder. We got the heater up there, I gotta go behind, the sink, all those things, gotta take care of all that. So There'll probably be some uh, deconstruction, put it up, and then reconstruction, but I'm gonna have to time it with doing the insulation. Uh, you guys ever notice I kinda think things out with you? <laughs> See the just stream of consciousness as it comes out of me here. Anyway, uh, so yeah. Probably gonna have to hold off on that end until I get this one insulated so I know how the insulation goes up. Then jump over there, get the, uh, I don't know what you wanna call this, the seal. Get the seal up uh, and then get the insulation going. That way I only have to detach the sink and all that once uh, and then put it back up as soon as we get all the insulation in. Once the insulation's in, it's all permanent. Now, on the insulation, uh, the big giant doors, I am going to end up cutting the insulation and doing something there uh, so that we can raise the doors up. I'm, my requirement is that you can get the doors up in about an hour. So uh, it doesn't have to be really, really cool or anything like that, but um, this year I think I'm probably just going to seal the doors up because we're not going to be going in and out of them when there's four or five feet of snow outside. Uh, so that's something we can deal with come spring. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I was happy to get this up tonight. It's definitely going to help with the old heater dragon bill over there. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy it, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Really appreciate everyone who's joined along on the journey. It's fun to see 
uh, people on the comments and everything uh, really contributing and having good conversation. So thanks for that. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter if you like. But uh, in the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian. Out.